Hey, it's Clay and this will be a video chart on Bitcoin. We will take a look at the four hour time frame. Real quick, if you're new to charts and not sure what I mean by four hour, instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents four hours. So I get it, this here may look like several months worth of time. It's actually just the past several weeks broken down into four hour time slices. I like to this time frame and does a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and then makes mapping out where levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. Well, headed into the weekend, definitely some key levels. Now, friendly reminder, Bitcoin is open 24 seven. So if you're watching this video, let's just say Sunday afternoon, for example, then I'm well aware that, yeah, the chart's gonna look different for you. But my goal here from the presentation standpoint is to keep this video relevant for as long as possible. And I'm gonna accomplish that by talking about more so general levels and then walking you through some questions and based on how you answer those questions, that'll dictate the current status of the chart. So the very first question that you need to ask yourself, there's gonna be a lot of people watching this level going forward, but it's all about that green line right there at 9,000. So like I said, let's just use the Sunday afternoon number and let's just say, you know what, you're watching this Sunday afternoon. First question, where is the price at relative to 9,000? And that's really gonna kind of set the context of just how things have been going. Meaning if the price is still up above it, then overall, I mean, that doesn't mean it's been a great, fantastic weekend, but it means at least the prices continue to consolidate above this very important level, which is held there and then there and there very recently. So like I said, just because it's above 9,000 doesn't mean it's a fantastic chart, but it does mean that the price has held strong so far and that's what you wanna see. Now on the flip side of things, if you're saying, well, Clay, no, it's Sunday afternoon and the price is down below 9,000. The next immediate question you would wanna ask yourself is, okay, well, where is the price at relative to this next very important level down there at 87, what is it, let's see, uh, 8750. So 8750 would be that next level and you can see this was a former area of support back here. If somehow you're answering the question, well, Clay, the price is also down below 8750, that would just be telling you at that point in time that it is a very, very bearish weekend. The bears have not only, you know, uh, taking control right here, but they've just taken that much more control and built up that much more strength. So those are gonna be the first two uh, you know, main levels to watch and consider. Now on the flip side, maybe you're saying, well, Clay, the price is actually up above 9,000 still. At that point, the main level to then ask yourself is, okay, well, where's the price at relative to 9,600, which is this area of resistance up here? If somehow you're answering the question that the price is up above 9,600, that would imply that you know the bulls have shown up in a big way because not only has the, would that imply that the price consolidated on here, not only would it apply that it's worked its way all the way up there, but that it's also been able to break up through it. Maybe you're just saying, well, Clay, no, the price is still up above 9,000, but it's still down below 9,600. At one, at that point, one word could be used to summarize that price movement, and that would just be consolidation. The price is just continuing to consolidate back and forth between this area. So that's another potential uh, you know, outcome there, but overall, keep your eye on those main levels, walk yourself through those questions, and that'll keep this video relevant all weekend long. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm gonna to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too good, way too, good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.